Today, we joyfully present Supreme Master Ching Hai's biscotti with vegan cheese, vegan ham and tomatoes, mixed vegetables, saute, deep fried plantains, crumbled tofu, part two of two. Let's continue to learn more cooking tips. The oil is already very, very hot. I turn it low a little bit so it doesn't burn my plantains. Now I put the banana in, or plantain, to fry it. The one, two, three, ah, four. Fry it until it's golden, go on both sides. Good, we're going to get the banana out before they cry. Now, ah, banana goes onto the plate. Look, it's so golden already. See how golden it looks? That's it. That's it enough now. So we put it aside. It's uh, very fragile, the real banana. The plantain would be a little bit harder, easier to handle. So if you use an ordinary banana like what I'm doing now, you be careful so it doesn't break. It also tastes nice, it just doesn't look as good. Now the oil is left over, we can use it so we don't waste it. Now it's already hot anyway. All right, we put in the vegetables. The cabbage. And the red bell pepper. And saute. Saute. If you have some uh, uh, mushroom seasoning, you put in like a teaspoon, a half a teaspoon. If you don't have, you just put my teas alone. So now I put in a few drops of my tea. Like half a teaspoon, a few drops. Yeah, and mix it together. Wow, smell nice already. Put the coriander in and it's done. Remember, don't cook too long. No need but water or anything. Don't cook too long. That's it. Just a minute and it's done already. Get it out of the heat first. Get a plate and Put it on the plate. Now we put a little oil into that pan again, like a, a tablespoon, more or less. Heat it up again. The oil is heated up. All we do is put the crumble tofu in it and stir it. Stir fry it. Stir it well so it doesn't burn only one side. Stir the tofu until it's golden. It's quicker when it's crumpled. It's quicker when you don't have enough time. 
Some for the tofu, it cooks quicker. Actually, for the tofu, you can put any kind of spice. You can put cumin powder. See, I have some cumin powder here. And I also have some ground turmeric. Cumin powder. We just put half a teaspoon. It on top of the tofu. The turmeric is for the color. Sometimes when uh, your guests are not used to life without egg, you can put the uh, turmeric a little bit in the tofu like that. And then mix it well and then it will look similar to the crumble egg that some people are so used to. And it tastes just fine as well. See, it's golden and good. Now, you have to drop a maggi or soy sauce. You can't be five, that's enough. And of course, you can put more if you want. You don't even need to put anything else except that. But of course, you can put mushroom seasoning if you have. A little bit. A little sugar. Just a little bit, a pinch of That's it. This is optional, actually. I just like that kind of taste. Otherwise, you don't have a good. Turn the heat up, arrange it on the plate, and we'll be fine. The turmeric is kind of very strong taste, so you be careful how much you put. Just a uh, half of the flat teaspoon, eh? not the full teaspoon. Wow, I think I need a bigger plate because we can arrange better things on it. Right, I got a big plate now, very, very big, so we can arrange it all on it. I look good in delicious. I'm gonna put the banana on it as well. Carefully. Once one side and that. rice on it and it will be just fine. Here we have the rice. You can have white rice or brown rice. I give the guests both. There. See how nice it looks already. There we are. We have the meal ready. Uh, simple, nutritious, and your guests will like it very much. And it's fast to cook. You can uh, put some soya sauce on the rice, add a little bit of the hot chili sauce there, or nothing, just eat like that. And we have some the appetizer there with vegan cheese, vegan ham, and biscuit and tomatoes. He has yes. uh, apple juice. He has uh, um, watermelon and mango as uh, frozen sobe, <laughs> natural sobe. And he even has a little chocolate there. It's a completely vegan chocolate. It's dark chocolate. It's no milk. No egg, nothing, just chocolate. Nice, nice. And I'm sure your guest will be very pleased if he or she will be served like this. Beautiful, nutritious, quick, and plentiful, colorful 
meal. I forgot a little tomato decoration. <laughs> I cut the top of the tomatoes, I slice the middle like that, and it becomes like flower. Also very nice to look at. Mm -hmm. And you arrange the banana like the hearts like that, also very nice. Don't forget to give the guests some filter water, mineral water, after the meal. Water is always good to rinse off the residues from the throat, for example, from the teeth. I have given your guests some filter water, cold, straight from the fridge, and an extra glass in case he or she loves to drink water. Okay, bon appetit, and I hope you have fun doing it at home. Remember, just tofu, cabbage, fry like that, and some rice. If you don't have cooked rice, you take it out from deep freeze rice. Any leftover rice, you can freeze it and use it in an emergency case. Otherwise, you can buy a rice cooker. I'll show you which one. So this is a rice cooking pot, automatic. You wash the rice, put uh, rice and water in the pot, plug it in, turn the knob, and it's going to be cooked like in 20 minutes. It depends on how much rice you cook. Normally for two persons, it should be done in 20 minutes, more or less. Normally you have a cup in there, and I tell you how many rice cups and how many uh, water cups to be able to cook it nicely. If you don't succeed the first time, you will next time. Remember the rule of thumb. Just the first part of the index finger, you put your finger straight from the uh, level part of the rice and measure up to the top part of the water. The first part of the index finger here, then it would be fine. You can buy this uh, pot in any Asiatic shop, sometime even in the supermarket. It's easier to cook. You never burn and it's always perfect. Have fun! I've tried myself. Wow! Tastes good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All we need is just a spoon and a fork, huh? Yes. Mm. You know, for the banana, mixed with the tofu and vegetable and rice, tastes so good. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, I think everybody will enjoy this because it's so delicious and it's nutritious. I guarantee. Bon appetit. Ingredients. For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the deep fried plantains, the ingredients are plantains or bananas, vegetable oil. For the mixed vegetable saute, the ingredients are Cabbage, red bell pepper, optional. Coriander or celery, optional. Carrot, optional. Cucumber, optional. Mushrooms, optional. Olive oil or other vegetable oil. Half to one teaspoon of mushroom seasoning, optional. Half teaspoon of Maggi. Salt, optional. Pepper, optional. For the crumbled tofu, the ingredients are tofu, olive oil or other vegetable oil, half teaspoon of cumin powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, a quarter to half teaspoon of maggi or soy sauce, mushroom seasoning, optional, pinch of brown vegan sugar, optional, served with white or brown rice. Oh friend, take care to do no harm to any living creature. To hurt his creation is to forget the creator. Khaja Abdullah Ansari, Vegetarian Peace-loving viewers, 
It's been a pleasure to have your company today. We hope you have enjoyed the program. Have a blessed day. Coming up next is The Two Little Devils, part 12 of 12 on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. May God guide you on the path to liberation. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash gol. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule et suprememastertv.com baroblique gol. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada sketcho y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada gol. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan sketcho dan suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan gol. <tose>